Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about a simple interest and compound interest formula. So I'll share my screen with you. Simple interest and compound interest problem. Suppose a person invests $3,000 in two types of bank accounts. Simple interest account with interest paid annually at the rate of 4% and compound interest account with interest compounded annually at the rate of 4%. Find the interest and balance on both accounts at the end of the first year and at the end of the second year. Okay. So one is a simple interest account, other is a compound interest account. So the first we will do the simple interest account calculation. And for the first year, number of years is one. Interest is on the $3,000 deposit is 3,000 times 0 0.04 is 120. So total balance at the end of the first year is 3,000 plus 120 is 3,120. Now, since it's a simple interest in the second year, the same $3,000 initial investment earns the same amount of interest point z multiplied by 0 0.04 is 120 in the second year too. So the balance at the end of the second year will be balance at the end of first year, which is 3,120 plus 120 is 3,240. Question is how does it compare with compound interest bank account? So let's do the calculation for the first year for compound interest. Interest is on the original investment amount, 3000 times 0 0.04 is 120. So the balance at the end of the first year is 3000 plus 120 is 3120, which is same as the balance in the simple interest account at the end of first year. Now let's take a look at what happens at year two. For the compound interest, uh, the principal plus the interest at the end of the first year will earn interest. So it will be 3,120 on which we earn a 4% interest. So you multiply 3,120 by 0 0.04 to get a interest of 124.80. Now the interest, um, now the amount or the balance at the end of first year was 3,120. To that, you add the interest you earned in the second year, which is 3,120 plus 124.80, and you get a balance at the end of second year is equal to 3,244.80. Note the balance in the compound interest account at the end of year two is greater than in the simple interest account, which was only 3,240. The balance in the compound interest account at the end of year two could also be calculated as 3000 multiplied by one plus 0 0.04 annual interest, which is 1.04 exponent is two because it's compounding for two years. And it works out to 3244.80, the same answer that we got. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, you can write me a note. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. Uh, again, I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.